Hello and welcome to the Big Company Sessions here at the Big Company Bookshop in Coventry. First off, we have a brand new Facebook page, which is Big Company Sessions, just go on Facebook and search it. And also, thank you, we've passed 200 subscribers, so high five to everyone over there. Um, right, very excited to introduce you today, Jess Morgan. Hi. Hiya, how are you doing? Yeah, good, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, you? now, um, yeah, good, good. <laughs> now, I just want to touch on it first. We've, this is our 26th session, nearly a year old now, and I reckon 25 of them always go, oh yeah, I know Jess Morgan. You know, yeah. I've toured with Jess, or you know, I've played with Jess, and you know, literally everyone on the folk scene. Aww, that's <laughs> so, nice. So, I mean, how 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 do you how do you do that? How do you keep in touch with everyone and know everyone? Well, I like to think I'm very memorable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Mm. Um, I've got to say, my my life is quite funny. So um, yeah. often I'll, I'll turn up to a gig and something disastrous has happened, or something like that, which which usually means that. Yeah, maybe it's a, maybe it's a memorable one or something. People are just or, like, oh, I've pulled a Jess Morgan. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think anyway. my favourite thing about this is, is the people I get to meet. So um, I mean, yeah. I'm sure somebody out there is going to go, no, you don't. But I'll say I, I always like to make an effort with people yeah. if I can. Yeah, it's good. I, th- I, I think one of the reasons you know everyone is because you're constantly, constantly on tour on the uh, road yeah I mean <laughs> you, you've just come back from America from a little ditty mm-hmm. over there you've gone you've done Europe a couple of times I think and now you're, mm. you're on tour now about to play here which is actually sold out first sold out gig so well done on that so um, yeah so I mean how how is, how is it fitting all that in um, well I just love it so I do it and I yeah. see it as um, you know oh, it sounds very straight to say it but it's my work so I just I just go to work just same as you come here every day and you know if I'm not doing a gig I'm writing songs or I'm, I'm yeah. promoting another gig or something like that and it's, yeah. it's all part of it I don't see Europe as any different to, to the UK you know I, I, I'm building something there as I am here so yeah. I just kind of I go over a couple of times uh, America was a bit of a kind of that was a bit of a trip of a lifetime to be yeah. honest but um I'm not going to do that every year, but yeah, um, yeah. unless unless uh, unless unless they want me to, <laughs> yeah, which nudge, is nudge. I definitely will. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, excellent. Right. Now you go on these tours, uh, obviously to promote your music. So I mean, you've had Langa Langa out for mm. quite a while now. About mm, yeah, a year nine... and a little bit. Oh right, yeah, it's doing yeah, really really well. Oh no, no, it's not even a year. It's March. It came right. out in April. So well, yeah, well, n- nearly Eleven top. Months. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. apart from touring, have you been writing or got anything in the future? coming out soon yeah yeah but I've been writing quite a lot um, I've kind of got a, another album sort of written and I'm going to look into wow. ways to record that but in the meantime there'll be an EP out in June um, excellent with some stuff I've been making it at home in, in Norwich it's the first thing that I've recorded you know 10 minutes away from home yeah. some of the stuff I've even done at my house so it's kind of um, brilliant so how, how, yeah. did you, how do you normally record then is it normally to go to the studio kind of do that kind of I thing d- I don't really do sort of studios um as you would imagine a studio, I normally go for kind of the home studio kind of vibe mm. because um, I get a bit of that kind of red light fever and I find them more relaxed, at, with, right, yeah. you know, just in in more informal settings yeah. and the results tend to be better, I think. Um, but um, this, what was the question again? Sorry. Um, um, How did yeah, I this, yeah. yeah, sorry, yeah, so like that. <laughs> yeah, okay, <laughs> so it's, 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 that's interesting, yeah. So um, now you're going to play uh, a song for us. Yes. Yeah. Um, tell us a bit about, about that song. It's based um, on a book, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's one of my songs. Which is good. Um, it's on Langa Langa. Um, in fact, it was, the, it was the last song to go on Langa Langa. Um, it was the last song I wrote for the album. Okay. I was reading this book um, while I was travelling in Germany, and it's called Two Caravans, and it's the sequel to Short History of Tractors in Ukraine, which was a yes an award-winning book by Marina Lewinska. It was, yes. And, well pronounced. Um, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> sweating <laughs> yeah um, but there's something about the sequel that I just I just really loved um, it, I, I felt um, even though kind of a, a lot of the book was quite humorous it also gave like quite a um, uh, what's the word mine's gone blank but a, a real insight into um, the lives of immigrant workers right in the fence, which is kind of um, it's not exactly where I come from, but it's something I always have to drive through. Yeah. And um, it so the song was kind of inspired by by some of the the stories going on in there, and um, it really gave me kind of um, a new perspective yeah. on some of that as well. So I was I was glad I wrote it, even if no one else likes it. It's just for me. <laughs> well, I look forward to hearing that. So thank you for joining us on the Big Comfy Couch here at the Big Comfy Bookshop in Coventry. Uh, this is the Big Comfy Sessions, and this is Jess Morgan. Nicholas 
Venus and Julia were lying on their backs In an open field With that low sun in early autumn And time is only ticking by on little paper wheels On movie screens in brochures for California But darling, we are in a lay-by Waiting on a van We're only passing through And this ain't nothing but a phantom And I don't think I'm getting there Where you are going to Keep looking out of your windscreen it ain't nothing like the big screen This ain't a movie Nor a campfire lit tale of two lovers slide off the rails You know we tried and only failed And it would be easy When there's nothing else to be You just survive along with me And I'll be glad to care for you in a simple way don't go looking for a movie scene to play A holy mess Hit on the shields without a warning Blood and feathers mark the morning But we're moving on And you ain't sleeping now You just keep looking down the road Dress you up in plastic clothes And sort the living from the low Keep looking out of your wind scheme It ain't nothing like the big screen This ain't a movie Nor a campfire lit tale Two lovers sliding off the rails You know we tried and only failed and it would be easy there's nothing else to be You just survive along with me And I'll be glad to care for you In a simple way Don't go looking for A movie screen to play chickens clucked and I'll clock out of here at dusk breathe the cool air in the yard and grab a two seat on a bus and we'll go flying through the dry creases of a fan town and sometimes I think I'm getting there where you are going to we're looking out of your windscreen It ain't nothing like the big dream This ain't a movie Nor a campfire lit tale Two lovers sliding off the rails And it would be easy When there's nothing else to be You just survive along with me and I'll be glad to care for you in a simple way Don't go looking for a movie scene to play